When I was at Mill Hill, I loved the atmosphere there. It was a very free and easy place. I don't mean that in the sense that one could take the mick. I mean that in the sense that if it was relevant, if it was appropriate, one could do it. And this usually came about through chance conversations with people in, in other departments, which would, would take one off in a completely different direction. And that was actually encouraged. I then moved to Norwich, and it was a very much a culture shock. In Mill Hill, we were sort of a bit like a university. In, in Norwich, it was scientific civil service, and everybody had their, had their, their rank. They were a, a scientific officer, a higher officer, SSO, or, or whatever. And there was this, this, this structured hierarchy. And it was structured the other way as well, in terms of there were different divisions and research groups within that, and everybody did their own thing or so did their particular thing. Uh, projects were given project numbers and what you did had to be accountable to a certain number. And if you came up with something that didn't fit within it, tough, you couldn't do it. Or you had to, it was very difficult to argue to do it. So it's a very, very different culture. The other thing, and I can't blame Norwich for this, but Things were changing in the sense that computers, which had been very much a sort of developmental thing, a homegrown thing, one did it oneself, suddenly, you know, everybody had a PC and suddenly packages were come, becoming available that did almost anything you want, you wanted. Equipment was becoming available. You didn't make your own equipment. I came very much from that. I, I, was, I was taught that in Oxford. You go into the workshop. You get the lathe out, and if you can't buy it, you make it. Similar sort of thing at Mill Hill, but during my time at Norwich, that was changing. Suddenly you could buy almost anything you wanted, and if you couldn't buy it, you couldn't make it either. Uh, and it was those sort of factors which I think ultimately led to my, to, to, to my sort of unhappiness in Norwich. Another difference between um, Mill Hill and Norwich was that Mill Hill one simply had to write a brief report to the director once a year about what you've been doing. Um, at Mill Hill, uh, sorry, uh, in Norwich, we had this very civil service procedure of what was called an annual career appraisal, which everybody hated um, and frankly never really served any useful purpose. Yeah, I do remember on one occasion having gone through this career appraisal thing, my boss put on the bottom of the form, contempt for bureaucracy. And I think, I think he meant that in a particular way, but I took it as a badge of honour and, and have been ever so proud of it and, and continue to wear that badge. At Mill Hill we didn't just work hard, we, we played hard as well, I think. Um, quite apart from the, the academic research going on, there was a lot of interaction uh, with lots of you know, people sharing common interests. In my case, I was very keen on yachting, and at that time I wanted to get my yacht master qualification. Now for that, one of the requirements is one needs to, to clock up so many days, I think it's 50 days at sea and 2,500 miles. Um, and I had a relationship with um, a yacht charter company down in Solent, who during the winter months was very happy to lend me some of their biggest and most expensive yachts for £50 in the back pocket. So um, basically I was going around encouraging as many of my colleagues as possible to come along and incidentally fund my yacht master by uh, joining me on these, these winter weekends. Um, and I actually took probably about half a dozen people at a time um, to see, um, many of whom for the first time, and some of whom I'm proud to say are, are now yachtsmen in their own right. So, you know, I started them on their way. We had a few adventures. Um, we actually lost an engine once and um, uh, had to call out a lifeboat. That wasn't my fault, that was just, just the way things happen. Um, we rescued someone else. So, you know, we, 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 yeah, we had a good time.